Are you ready for your best year yet? We have reached December 30th. If you're going through this series of Turn Your Holidays into Holy Days with me in real time. And so today we're talking about how to set yourself up for your best year. There's three steps that I cover in this today, and I want to just briefly go over them with you. And they're to focus, to commit, and then to take that action. And so how do we set ourselves up for that best year? You know, you kind of take some of the things that we've been looking at over the last few days, things like gratitude and, and noting your highs and your lows and picking that verse and that word for the year. And you, and you, you know, continue to work with those things. And then the first step here is to focus inward. You know, too often, and especially, again, right now at this time of year, there are a lot of things coming at you. There are diets, there are new plans and programs. Your work might be doing a weight loss challenge. Your friend, you know, is probably asking you to sign up for, you know, some challenge that she signed up for and, you know, all of these things that are kind of extreme and there's so many things going on around us and it's hard not to get caught up in that. It's hard not to feel peer pressure and to think, oh, you know, if I don't do that, they're going to think I'm slacking or whatever. But it's so important that you set your focus and that focus is inward. It's not on what others are doing, but it's again based on these things that you've worked through the last few days. And, you know, that word that God has given you and that verse that he has, you know, inspired you to claim for this year. So focus inward, focus on, you know, how to honor your life, to honor your body, to honor your age and stage of life, where you are right now. And the, in, the, in the book here, there are some questions to ask yourself, you know, why? The, the big thing is, why do you want this thing? What is that motivation? Um, and then, of course, you know, will this make me a better person? Um, will this improve my interactions with others? And of course, look for a biblical truth that you can apply. You know, there's no greater place to find motivation and inspiration than God's word. Look at his word and what you want to put into, into action. Is this coming from a place of positivity and a place from God's word and his Holy Spirit inspiration in you? And then, of course, is it sustainable? You know, again, so many things that are going to come at you right now are not sustainable. Yes, you might be able to give up a food or a food group for a short amount of time, but can you see that you see yourself doing that six months, 12 months from now when you're 80 years old? Can you still be doing that thing? So is it sustainable? So again, Set your focus and make sure that focus is inward. And then the next step is once you, you know, come up with that focus, commit to it. Do not allow these other things to distract you. They're still going to keep bombarding you, but it's important to make that commitment. And if you do this through scripture and with the Lord, it's going to be easier to keep that commitment. And, and again, if you're looking for a community, you know, I have a faith and fitness support and accountability community where the women there are focused on their plan. They're focused on how God is leading them, but we can do that together. We encourage one another. So make sure that you are surrounding yourself with people who support you and encourage what you're doing and can appreciate the work that God is doing in your life and how he's leading you. And then finally, take that action. You know, implement the steps that you need to take to implement and take to make this action, to make that focus, to make that fit, um, commitment something sustainable. So the best part of next year, if you do these things, is you're going to be looking back and you're not going to be stressing and you're not going to be obsessing over the changes that you need to make because you're going to be able to carry these sustainable, lasting changes 
into the year ahead. And that's what I want for you. And that's how you can have your best years by implementing these things and seeing that when you truly integrate your faith and fitness, it does lead to sustainable, lasting results. So let's take these things into the coming year and feel free to share below something that you're going to do, a focus that you're going to take or an action that you're going to take into the new year so we can support you and so that you won't be distracted by those things that are that are coming at you um, now and in the next several weeks. But you can commit to what God is showing you to do.